video, I am going to give you a tour of a home that we're going to be deep cleaning and I'm going to tell you exactly in what order to clean to be most efficient and effective. This home that we're going to be entering has three floors. The second floor, the main floor, and a basement. So as you can see, this is the main entrance of the home. Right up here is the second floor. And if you walk in, here we have the living area. So this is the main living room, right? Over here, we have a dining area. So this is where the family eats. But then I also just wanna show you that right through here is the back of the house, which is the kitchen and a pantry area. So because we have three different floors, we're actually starting off in the basement. So follow me, we're gonna have some cleaning going on, so don't mind that already. So again, we wanna do the basement and we clean in each area so that once we're done on a floor, we don't have to come back. So here you can see we have the client's basement. They have a laundry room area over here, uh, you know, a laundry area over here to the right. You can see they have a toy area. And then over here we have a full bathroom. And again, please don't mind our technicians are cleaning but this is the full bathroom in the basement now again we want to clean floor by floor so we're doing the basement first so that way when my team is all done cleaning from top to bottom they're going to vacuum their way up these steps and then we're going to close the basement door and be finished right then once we're done cleaning the basement we're going to head up to the second floor so the second floor is going to be the second floor that we clean. And again, we always clean from the furthest point of the entrance. So in the basement, you saw the bathroom was getting done. They were doing the main areas. They were cleaning their way up. All right, so now we're on the second floor. As I mentioned previously, we always clean our way out of a room or out of a floor. So we always start at the furthest point. Because the steps and the entrance to the second floor are right here, we are going to be cleaning these two back rooms first. So here we have the master bedroom. So we'll be cleaning the master bedroom from top to bottom and closing the door. And here we have another back bedroom, which also could be arguably the first room since it is a little bit further past the main bedroom. And then we would be doing the third bedroom. So again, always start at the farthest point of the entry. You want to clean your way out of a room. Literally, you want to clean, mop, or vacuum your way off of a floor. So again, we would be doing the three bedrooms when we come up on the second floor, and then we would be doing the bathroom, which this is their master bathroom. So, you know, we'll do clean all the bedrooms. We will clean this master bathroom, and then we will be cleaning this hallway and then we're gonna clean our way back and out down these steps. First room that we're gonna clean is going to be the kitchen since it's the furthest in the back. Then we'll be cleaning the dining room and then the living room and this little foyer area and clean our way out of the home. If you have multiple floors on a house, be sure to do the basement first or the second floor, but do the second and the basement before you actually do the main floor to clean your way out of the home. This is going to help you clean efficiently and effectively. Anytime you're in a bedroom, the very first step is going to be doing some light organizing and picking up. So as you can see, we do have some items on the floor. So we're gonna first organize and just get this a little bit more neat. And then the next step is going to be doing the high dusting, the low dusting, doing the windows, making sure to dust the blinds, dust all of the furniture. If there's any trash bags, well, of course, we're going to remove and replace them. And then lastly, we will be vacuuming and mopping the floors. Hey, cleaning family. So here we are in a master bathroom, and I just wanna go over the steps on cleaning a bathroom. So the very first step is gonna do the light organizing, meaning we're gonna be picking up these bath mats, picking them out, we're going to be emptying everything that you see here 
in the shower bathtub area and we're going to get everything out put everything in the sink okay we're going to do the high dusting we are going to dust the blinds we're going to clean the inside of the windows these windows open so we'll be lifting them and cleaning the window sill after we do all that high dusting we are going to pre-treat the shower let it start working its magic the scrubbing bubbles then we're going to come over to this area and we're going to clean the toilet okay behind the toilet in the toilet then once we're done we're going to come back to the shower and bathtub area we're actually going to scrub everything the tiles the tub the shower head the very last part or one of the last steps after cleaning the bathtub is going to be then to put everything that we put in the sink back where it belongs we're then going to clean the sink area remove and replace the trash can and then vacuum and mop the floors put the mats back and we'll all be done in this bathroom. Let's go over the items that need to get cleaned in the kitchen in the exact order. So very first, we're gonna do all the high dusting. So we're gonna get the fan, we're gonna get where the ceiling meets the wall. We're then going to clean the front of the kitchen cabinets, the top of the cabinets, right? Then we're gonna go ahead and do the backsplash. After the backsplash, we're gonna move on to the countertops and the stove top, okay? We're then going to be doing the windows. Then we're gonna do the bottom cabinet areas. We're gonna clean that back door. We're gonna exchange out the garbage for a new bag. And then we are going to vacuum and mop the floor. Now we're in the dining room area. So what we're gonna do is of course, start with the high dusting. We're going to dust where the ceiling meets the wall. We're then going to dust the shades. We're going to lift them up, clean the inside of the windows. Then we're going to wipe all of the surfaces. Be sure to pull these chairs out, give them a good wipe, and that'll also give us room to be able to vacuum and mop the floors properly. Of course, we cannot forget the baseboards. Now here we are in the living room area. This is the last room that we're going to be cleaning because the front door is right behind me. So first we're going to start off with doing the high dusting, making sure to get where the wall meets the ceiling as well as the fans and anything that might be hanging on the walls. We're then going to be cleaning anything that is eye level like this TV area, making sure to move all of the parts on the shelving and give everything a good wipe. We're going to dust the windows, clean the windows, straighten up the couch, make sure to vacuum it. Then we're going to wipe all of the surfaces, being sure to move all of the items. Then we're going to pull that ottoman out in the corner so that we can get all of the baseboards. Same thing with this couch, we're gonna organize it. And then that just leaves us with vacuuming and mopping the floors.